The music in Street Fighter 6 sucks! Or so they say. Very hot topic. And in fact, uh, I, I just had a conversation, you know, on our podcast, Triple KO, with Matt McMuscles and Justin Wong, talking about the music of uh, Street Fighter 6. It'll be out eventually. Matt's like, I don't like the music in this game. I don't like it. He's like, I feel like any of the tracks can belong to any character. And yeah, I, of all the things that Street Fighter 6 is doing right, the music absolutely is one of the elements that is not a shared emphasis for everybody where it's like, this is great. There's a lot of disparity here. People either really like it or do not. And I am one of the weird ones that's kind of in the middle of the road. I will say for me personally, I'm glad it's doing something different. There was a point in our lives where we heard this music, this specific song, and we're like, buddy, this shit sucks. What the hell is this trash? Absolute garbage fire. Garbage fire trash music. Oh. Where is my Marvel versus Capcom music, man? What is going on? To give Street Fighter VI some credit, these feelings were absolutely shared back in the day. And I remember that other games like specific Street Fighter games did not feature prominent character themes from previous games. And I remember being disappointed and not liking it. Although it's now one of the most celebrated songs in Street Fighter history. It's Street Fighter now, right? That's Street Fighter now. But in 1999, the early 2000s, it was not. It was weird and different and did not feel like Street Fighter music. I feel like it's happening all over again, where the music of Street Fighter was changing, right? The music of Capcom fighting games was changing around this time frame. Now they are largely accepted as some of the greatest tracks in fighting game history. Everyone's complaining that Street Fighter 6 music sucks and it's not good. And I don't think they're wrong but I've been here before, <laughs> right? I don't think they're wrong. I've been here before. It might end up growing on us in the long run is go through every single character track. We don't have to listen to every single piece of music, but we just need to go through every single song and generate a feel. Is this hitting what they're hitting? Or is it doing what they're doing? Because I have not heard every single theme at this point, even though they all have been released. And at the end of it, we're going to give like a vibe check on it. We got the uh, Mr. Main character himself. So let's bring up reuse theme and really quickly listen to this because we did check out the music before we did we did listen to it my conclusion is that i'm glad it's different right i'm actually glad it's different because we might end up being in a similar situation as street fighter 3 uh third strike especially and marvel versus capcom 2 or maybe this stuff will just really grow on us over time Yeah, this is great, right? Does it elicit, this is Ryu? It doesn't. Ryu just landed in New York City. He was clinging on to, he was clinging on to the landing gear of a 747 from Japan and his feet just touched ground. Bitch is strutting down, <laughs> you know? It's definitely different, right? It's got, it, and it has a lot of personality. Yeah, Street Fighter VI is definitely going for a different feel. And you can already literally feel it here. This is good fighting game music too, I'd say too, right? Regardless, this almost reminds me of what Street Fighter, this reminds me of kind of what I felt about Street Fighter EX music. And some people are like, oh, we were always sleeping on Street Fighter EX music. I'm like, bro, no, not me. 
I always love that shit. I always, I, from Street Fighter EX plus Alpha, I always loved Sakura's theme, right? I always thought Ryu's theme, Chun-Li's theme, every one of those themes were friggin' great in the, back in the day. EX plus Alpha was the game that sold me on that. So this is a good start, right? This is a really good start and leaves a really good impression of where we could be going. Who's next? Chun-Li. Thank you, Cyber Strike. It's groovy. I think that's the part I don't like. Can I say that? Let me go back a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That thing right there, I don't like that part. That takes me out of it. It definitely has an identity, but I don't feel it, 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 and I, I kind of like my, I kind of really like my punchy fighting game music, right? I like Killer Instinct, you know? This is definitely different. I don't I don't think my impression is incredibly positive at this point regarding this one. I think it's all right. Now, we got a brand new character. If they're gonna take Street Fighter into a new direction, new character, new look, well, you know, older character at this point, uh, how do they want him to sound? I like it more than Chun's theme. Give it a second. Give it a second. You know what? It, I, I hate to use these terms to describe the sound of this theme. I really hate it. It shows my fucking age. Um, but this, this track sounds young and hip. I fucking hate it that this is how I'm describing this shit. It sounds like young and hip. It sounds like new blood taking things in a different direction. You know? <laughs> okay, boo. I, yeah, I, I apologized ahead of time. Okay? I completely acknowledged it and apologized ahead of time. Why is my hair falling off my head? I don't think it's really bad either. I don't. It sounds generic because a modern thing doesn't have as much like punchy identity yet, or it's not like an old thing. It's not like a current thing. It's not like a new thing. It being generic sort of like lacks the identity that might not exist yet. I don't think it really generic is the best way to put it. I feel like it sounds like a brand new character into the world of Street Fighter and he's glad to be here. I like it more than Chun's theme, but it's definitely not as good as Ryu's theme. Ryu is the current top contender. This is so goddamn funky. This is great. I want to hear more.
Is it like a trumpet or a sax solo here? This sounds like I am beating ass and I'm having a great time. <laughs> you know, I'm beating ass, I'm drinking giraffe jizz and having a great time is what I'm really getting out of this. Oh shit! Oh shit! It turned it suddenly really turned into disco. Oh my god! It's just a disco track now! The, yeah, that's incredible. Alright, this is better than reuse theme. I'm sorry, it is. I think I think I like it more, right? I uh, I I think I like it more. This one, no, this one is really good. <laughs> is it really? Is it really this one? Has a moment where I'm just gonna get sent. I'm good. Jury's theme. This is K-poppy? Okay. I wouldn't know. I've never K-popped chat. I will say, it very much has like an arachnid feel to it. The name of the song is literally arachnid. It absolutely has like a spidery kind of feel to it. I think it's interesting, but I don't absolutely love it. I think it's definitely fascinating. It's a lot better than what, the, than what they do with Jury's theme in Street Fighter V, but it doesn't really send me in one direction or the other, where I'm just like, this makes me regret, this is really not good, or this is like amazing. It's all right. I think this is all right. Uh, Kimberly, Ninja Star Pop. This theme feels very third strikey. And it and it has like an, an aggressive retro Mega Man feel to it because Kimberly is retro 80s girl that's like her her entire vibe right so it makes sense i'm getting that just from her music I think this one is really good. 
you know i'm gonna give it to it let's let's go to the very end just in case it changes it's now just more intense yeah I think this one is really good. I don't think it's the premium. I think I think the premium still lies in the hands of Jamie, but I think this is still quite good. The install theme is something different, right? The install theme is like essentially fluff. So we're not gonna we're not gonna count that one too much. Ken's theme. I don't really remember this. This song already gives you the vibe. I'm good at this shit, but I've been doing it for too long. That's the feeling it gives right now. Something like I'm I'm like something like I'm fed up, right? Where he's like an expert of his craft, but he's fed up. Yeah, this is great, dude. Okay, this one's fucking good. Cause now it's got like, but the fire still burns. Yeah. This is bad. This this is like storytelling. Yeah, this is, I think, I feel like Ken likely might have the most story elements in Street Fighter VI, just because of the, what they're doing with him. Uh, but this literally feels like audio storytelling. You can actually feel it. Oh, it's also Spirit of the Flame. This part's only okay. Once the baseline kicks in, it's great. Once the baseline kicks in, it's hella good. I love this part. God damn, I love this part. See, I feel like this theme fits Ken really well. And Ryu's theme doesn't fit Ryu at all, but it's a great theme. You know what I mean? Some of these themes, like, like Ken and Kim uh, are a couple of examples. And I think also Jamie, where they really fit the character super well. And then you get some that are, some that are just kind of off. Like Ryu's theme is just kind of different. Ryu's theme is like Cap, Cap Jam's best hits. That's, and that's not a bad thing. But this this feels like this one fits the fucking character. This should be this should be exciting. Damn, I just went to Rio and now we're going down a back alley. Shit. Yeah, we're in Brazil. There's a back alley over here. Let's go. It's such a different take on what Blanca's music has been before. Brazilian funk. This is fun. This is really fun. I'm ready to hear something different. Hold on a second. Let's go. Let's go to the, towards the end.
I think this is one of those that is that is really good, but not great. Is a really good one. Is a is a very easy song to listen to as well. Also, an observation on some of the characters that are hailing from regions of the world. Ryu is like the biggest, the biggest out, outlier because he's like New York man, but he's from, you know, Japan. But characters like Blanca and Dalsam have like their relative native origin music that feels a lot more like culturally referential. Even like granted, like Dalsam always kind of had this, but it feel like it feels like they're they're really trying to get some of these characters that are from you know other parts of the earth that represent other cultures of the world to try to influence and inject as much of that as possible. And you feel that 100% in Blanca because his themes haven't really been like that before. His themes have been kind of a little different from, from what I historically remember. And now, like, Dalsim's is just going, you know, 150% in that direction. Okay, let's listen to Honda's. Super Japanese, like... Yeah, like Japanese festival. Because that's like E Honda's whole thing, right? Is the the celebration of of sumo as a fighting style, the celebration of like Japanese culture, right? That's like his whole thing. Um, this is doing a very good job at evoking all of that Kabuki man, you know. You thought of listening to this song earlier, listening again, but picture Ryu. Here's the thing, though. Do you think of, like, Japanese culture? And you think of Ryu. Ryu's, like, number one. Once again, I feel, I feel I'm now understanding more listening to this music of these other characters. Why Ryu's theme feels so not like Ryu, but it's still a really good theme. I think the conclusion I'm coming to is that Ryu's theme is that way because... Ryu's theme is the Street Fighter 6 theme. It's bringing us into the new game. It's bringing Street Fighter and its legacy into a new thing. This is what it sounds like. Let's move on to Guile. American AF? Really? I don't know if I'm pulling any like this is super American out of this.
Okay, I think I've heard enough. Uh, what is the... There's a change here? Hold on a second. getting there I've heard enough no this is the worst theme <laughs> right uh it's it's weird how it's like the most identifiable character theme ever from a previous game this is the only time I'm actually comparing it to previous like character themes is because Guile has like easily some of the most identifiable music and for s this is the most forgettable one of all of them. I feel like nothing when I'm listening to this. It's kind of weird. Uh, Marissa, this should be fun. This should be fun. Damn, I really do like like the the We Will Rock You like boom boom tsh, like in the background. That's a that's a good touch. I think this one is just okay. You know? Let's go let me see if it changes. I think this one's all right. All right. I think this one's all right. I don't think it's like absolute banger status. I think this, I think this is absolute like middle of the road sort of theme. Yeah, super fashion show. It's fun to listen to, that's for sure. Is there all think that she's a French ballet dancer? You got half of it. Uh, she's a French ballet dancer that does judo and designs jewelry and is a fashion model. You got like one fourth of it. Oh no, Marissa was, Marissa was the jewelry. You're right. She's just the fashion model, just. The song is taking me places, that's for sure. Yeah, this the, the, this theme really screams like refined taste, you know? Top nods, yeah, not bad. 
Actually, not bad. Um, don't know if you want to like... Actually, that might be fun. music pretty fun to fight to. I might give it that kind of credit. It could be. It's not incredible, you know? There are a few ones so far that are absolute bangers, you know? I think stages have their own separate themes, too. But we'll stick to the ones that are identifying the characters. It's definitely got that, like, island life feel, right? Yeah, very Caribbean. He's from what? Like, Jamaica? You know? Yeah, you feel like you're on an island. Obviously, a lot of reggae inspiration, but not entirely. Relatively relaxing, you know? Yeah, everyone just said it the exact same time I did. It's relatively relaxing. Yeah. This is your smoking weed on a beach music. Word. <laughs> it's nice, you know? It's good. Does it change though? Does it really does it really keep with this kind of theme the whole time? And that's what's funny, uh, that then we're starting to get an actual taste of Street Fighter VI's music. The majority of tracks that we're listening to really do feel like they're trying to go places and make you like feel things and establish atmospheres and stuff like that, right? A lot of, I actually would say the thing I'm getting from most of this music is that it's trying to set up an atmosphere. And it's doing a pretty goddamn good job at it. However, it's much different than fighting game music of the past, where classic Street Fighter themes make you want to fucking fight. Right? We want you to fight. We want you to, you know, you're going to beat ass to this music and hopefully your ass beating will sync with the music and it'll be amazing. You know, like a Guilty Gear style, a Killer Instinct style, stuff like that. I'm not liking it. I'm going to say right now, I'm not, not too much.
Suddenly it turned into Evil Remixed. This one was a burn. Yeah, a slow burn. Yeah, that went places. <laughs> JP's theme definitely goes places. It was weird. It's like I was almost uncomfortable with the opening part of the song, but maybe that's what they wanted. <laughs> it's it's odd Be because the music in this is trying to evoke like emotions and, and atmosphere and all this kind of stuff. Maybe that's what they wanted because eventually when it when it turns, it's actually kind of captivating that. Oh, we've turned. Oh, God, where is this going now? It feels it feels almost intentional, you know? Oh, this is fun. It's already fun. Okay. <laughs> Worst theme by far? I'm really enjoying listening to this. Some heavy USSR feel in here. This one's pretty damn fun to listen to. It's very enjoyable. And once again, not an amazing, not amazing. I'm not blown away. This is very imposing. It's really good. I, I think it might be one of the, the, the better themes and it's very fun to listen to. We're not done yet. So let's, we only got two more themes left. I feel like we've gotten a, a decent conclusion. Chat, what's the name? <laughs> My dad used to listen to this music a ton in like the early 2000s. Like the Gypsy Kings, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, fucking wild, the goddamn Gypsy Kings. Expecting the guy's voice to just come out all of a sudden. I'm <laughs> just ready for it to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this one's only okay. It's not really, th this one is aggressively mid, at least to me. This one's pretty good. 
I hear people saying they don't like this one. I think it's pretty good. No, no, none of this feels like Tekken music. None of this feels like Tekken music. No. Just no. And I'm, I'm really not a big fan of most of Tekken 7's music outside of a few tracks. If that's like the round three theme and that kicks in, that's that's pretty friggin' awesome. Cammy's is pretty friggin' cool. This definitely comes across as the coolest, you know, sounding song in the entire soundtrack. We just wanted to create a theme that is cool, you know? Most of these character themes, almost every single one, feels like they appropriately belong to the character they're portraying, except for Ryu. Ryu is the, the big outlier. He's the one that is not, like, and, and we came to the conclusion earlier, he is the way he is because he's representing Street Fighter and not just himself, right? Uh, which makes a lot of sense. So overall, this is good, right? Hearing some of these themes are clearly some are better than others. It's going to be impossible to match the thematic masterpieces of the original Street Fighter 2 themes as well as the Super Street Fighter themes. But um, they're doing something different and, and putting together that world tour is such a big deal is such a big part of this game. How Street Fighter 6 is getting its audience and trying to establish that atmosphere. I understand. Right? I completely understand why it is this way. I'm gonna give it a solid like C plus is what I would I would personally give it. I don't think it's an absolute failure, but it's good that it's doing something different. So I give it like a 79, right? I actually have a grade scale. People absolutely hated Marvel vs. Capcom 2's music when it came out. Nobody liked that shit. It was awful. It, everyone called it elevator music. This music absolutely has a ton of identity. It's just a much different identity than Street Fighter games of the past, as well as the majority of fighting games that just want to hype you up. We just want to hype you up.